Welcome back to SDL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard and I'm joined by Renee Vidal of Forest Hills Country Club where you are the tennis pro, uh, which is really interesting. And um, I know we've been talking in the last segment about a tennis class that you have coming up to help um, diabetes, the American Diabetes Organization. Yes. But um, it's summer and I want to hear about tennis for a few minutes. So <laughs> tell us about your history with the game of tennis and what you've learned and what you can um, share with the rest of us, whether it be tips on the court or off the court. Well, uh, you know, the two-minute um, two speeches, you know, my father introduced me to tennis when I was five years old. I played my first tennis tournament when I was seven, uh, played nationals uh, in the 12s, um, and then my father passed away at 13, and um, that was essentially the end of, you know, any professional tennis aspirations. So, um, Fell back into tennis after college, uh, working with the USTA Player Development Headquarters, um, and started working with a lot of national coaches and, and getting into high performance and the psychology of peak performance and, and what it takes to be great. Um, and it's just been a great ride since then. Mm -hmm. So what are some things that you've, uh, w in terms of what it takes to be great, like w is there a possibility that a really good um, high school player today could become pro or is that just almost impossible these days? Well, the, you know, high school is not the traditional route to, um, to playing professional tennis. Uh, you've got college tennis kind of sitting there in there in the middle. Mm -hmm. Um, and most of the competitive high school tennis players that have a desire to go further are really looking to, to go to college first and then to see how they do at the college level and maybe test the waters at the pro level. So you've got to be great in high school in order to play at the college level. You do. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, there's national rankings for, for different age groups starting as young as in the 12s, I believe, boys 12s and under, girls 12s and under and goes all the way up to girls 18s and boys 18s. Uh, college coaches typically look at uh, rankings for boys 16s and under, because mm -hmm. uh, those kids are basically going to be juniors. And um, you know, I mean, what I've learned is if you're going to commit, you've got to really put your heart into it. Yeah. Um, you know, success doesn't happen overnight. And I've learned that tennis is a great laboratory for life lessons. So you know, I've always viewed it tennis as a medium uh, for people to get better personally and then obviously to pursue their dream if, it, if it's tennis. Yeah. Now working at a country club here in St. Louis, you're not working with pros. You're working with the everyday person who wants to use um, tennis as a, as a means towards fitness and towards healthy living. So what are, what's the, how do you approach that person on the court versus obviously the pros that you've worked with? Well, I think just as a professional in tennis, you have to be adaptable and you have to be flexible. You, you can't um, be glued to the past or glued to um, certain frameworks and paradigms. You've got to do your best to get to know each individual and to learn what their goals are and then tailor your program and your services to their needs. Um, and you know, if we have 20 clients, we've got 20 different personalities. And I think the best coaches are the ones that can adapt to those folks and build strong relationships with them. But tennis um, fits into an overall healthy living fitness plan. Would you not agree with that? Oh, totally agree. Mm -hmm. It's a natural fit. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if you look at anything, any research on diabetes, I mean, you know, we're always promoting exercise and playing sports and eating right and, you know, getting enough sleep, just some of those basic um, fundamentals. Yeah, and it's a lifelong sport, which is a great reason to pick it up in the first place, even if um, you don't have high aspirations, uh, but just to, uh, to it's have a great, something you can play forever. It's a great family sport, mm -hmm. you know, and, and our goal at Forest Hills has been to help families excel mm -hmm. and improve at tennis. And we've seen tremendous growth over the last couple of years. It's been really exciting. Uh, the families are going out there on their own and playing tennis, and it's nice to see. Good, good. Okay, so June 8th, um, the public can come out and see you play and, uh, and see some great tennis out at Forest Hills Country Club to, to um, help the cause, uh, the diabetes research cause. Yes. I, I don't know if they'll see great tennis on my part, but, <laughs> you know, I've got some, some good friends coming out. Uh, we're just looking to have fun. We yeah. want everybody involved to, to enjoy themselves and to see what tennis can offer by bringing people together. Great, great. June 8th, it's on the screen right now. All the details, you can contact uh, Renee 
uh, at his email address or at the phone number listed for more details uh, if you'd like to go out and, and uh, be a part of that. The second annual Rene Vidal's Tennis Classic to Stop Diabetes will be coming up um, at Forest Hills Country Club. And we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to learn about a new educational game that's coming out of St. Louis. We'll be right back. <laughs> 